In this video, we're going to be looking at the main screen of Roots Magic and how it compares to the main screen in PATH. Now, if you use PATH for a while, you're pretty familiar with the main screen in PATH where you have a main menu at the top, you have a toolbar, and then you have these different tabs. You have a family tab, which shows you basically the family group sheet with person, their parents, spouse, and children. You'll have a pedigree tab which will show you the uh, uh, five generation pedigree chart and then you have an individual tab which gives you an alphabetical list of all the people in your file. Here is that same file, the same data in Roots Magic and you can see many similarities in the main screen. Roots Magic also has a main menu up at the top, it also has the toolbar and then it has the tabs uh, down here in the main section. It has, uh, like PATH, it has the pedigree tab, or we call it a pedigree view, that shows you generations of people. Then you have the family view, which is like a family group sheet showing you the father, uh, grandparents, spouse, and children. Then there's a people view, which is like the individual's view in PATH, which is an alphabetical list of all the people in the file. But Roots Magic also has some additional views that PATH doesn't have. For example, there's the Descendants view, which will show you the currently selected person as well as all of their descendants, up to seven generations. There's also the Timeline view, which will give you a graphical timeline of that person's life, showing events from their life as well as immediate family members. And there's also the Web Search view, which is very handy. This will allow you to uh, search the internet for the currently selected person and automatically runs the search with the, with the person's name and their birth date and death date. And you can see uh, result, search results for records for that person. Then, one new feature in Roots Magic compared to PATH is this sidebar over on the left. This sidebar, it can be made bigger or smaller. You can even click on this button to hide it completely if you want a little more breathing room. But the sidebar itself has a couple tabs on it. The main one, the first one is the index, and this is an alphabetical list of everyone in your file. Now, uh, one feature in Roots Magic that a lot of people don't know about is that any sorted list of information, whether it's a list of people, places, sources, fact types, or so on, you can quickly jump and find a specific record if you click inside the list and then just start typing what you're looking for. So if I wanted to jump to Dr. James Smith, I just type S-M-I-T-H and you'll see the little orange box then Dr. then uh, James. Okay, and you can easily just jump to anything you want that way. And that is the main screen in Roots Magic.